Hello, hello, this is Wu again. Welcome to the second tutorial video. We are going to make proper resources on After Effects. I put the sample image we made before into the project panel. We can create a composition by drag and drop the footage and change the name of composition, duplicate it, and change its name. Double click this face composition to open it. As I already mentioned about in the first video, this face is symmetrical, so we are going to make half of the face and use it for both sides. Open the composition setting window by pressing Ctrl K and change its width to a half. In this case, it's 400 pixel. Now the width is decreased to a half, but the image is still in the center. So move its position to make it show the left half of the image. Drag and drop the face composition to the comp icon. Change the name and open it. Double its width. You can press P to open position property. And change its X position to place the face on the left side. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move it to the right side. Press S to open its scale property. De restrict its ratio by clicking the chain icon. Change the X value to negative 100. It basically means flipping horizontally. So we set up the structure for the symmetrical face. You will soon see how convenient this structure is. Click this name of composition and click new comp viewer. Then you have another preview window that you can see another composition at the same time. For now, both are the same. But when you click the name again, you can see other compositions that you can choose. Select face composition. Then you can see what's going on in the upper level of composition. Ok, let's draw the face. Drawing vector paths is pretty much the same as Photoshop. You can see fill button in the top menu bar, click it. And pick the color from original image by spoid tool. Now you can see that it applies to both sides. But the sample image on the bottom confuses me. Right click on the image and make a guide layer. Then it won't be displayed in other compositions. Let's adjust the shape a little. Change the name. It's good to organize everything like names, layer order, etc. Hide the face layer for a while. Draw the eye. The eyes will blink, but for now, it's a little bit tricky to animate it properly because it's tilted, so we need a fresh approach rather than just scaling. Firstly, change its pivot point. It's in the center of composition now. Press Y to change your tool. With this tool, you can move an anchor point. Click and drag the anchor point to its center. And aligning it horizontally by rotating. You can press R to open up rotation property and change the value there. OK, and then create a null object layer. Null object layer is just empty layer which you can use something like a pivot. Right click on the layer panel and create the one. Change its name. I'm gonna parent the eye hole layer to the eye hole pivot layer. Before that, put a random color in it and move the pivot layer to the anchor point of eye hole. Click this vortex icon and drag it to the target layer. Then you can scale each child by the parent layer. So rotate the parent layer. Ok, now I'm gonna do the invert alpha clipping. Click the face layer and then you can see the drop down list on the left. Choose alpha inverted matte. That means you are using the above layer as the clipping mask. In this case, you choose alpha inverted matte so it makes a hole in the face layer. If you choose just alpha matte, the below layer will be displayed only in the above layer's area. Ok, moving on to the eye. Firstly, make a pupil and pick a color from the sample image. Duplicate it and make it bigger than the pupil. This will be the base blue eye. Move both layers and put them under the face layer. Adjust the detail. 
Okay, the eye is done. Let's move on to the nose and mouth. Hide the face layer to reveal the sample image and just make the shape on its nose. Use a stroke for mouth. For now, the cap is angled. We've got to change it to be rounded. Under the shape property and open up the stroke one. Then you can see line cap property. Change it to rounded cap. Okay, we are done here. I just want to resize the composition to place the face in the center. Draw the region of interest. You can use this area to crop a composition or run the specific area only. Adjust its position and size a little. Go to the composition menu in the top bar and choose Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Okay, great. Go to the main comp and put the face comp inside. Place it in the right position. Alright, the face is done. So moving on to the ear. Draw the path. You should make a little bit of extra area behind the face because it will be rotated. Draw the inside area and pick the color for both areas. I'm going to make them as a comp. Choose both of them and press Ctrl Shift C. Type naming. Let's see inside. Place in the center and align its pivot vertically. We're gonna rotate this ear so it would be better to organize it properly. Crop the competition. When you press Tab key, you can see hierarchy and move to another comp. Place it in the right place and adjust its anchor point. OK, duplicate and flip it. Yes, it's done. But for now, you can see the area which is supposed to be hidden by the face. So I'm going to clip out the bottom part. Make an ellipse shape and resize it. The head is oval, not a perfect circle, so adjust its Y scale a bit. OK, then change its blending mode to Silhouette Alpha. It clips out everything below in its alpha area. Now we have ears. OK, now it's time to make the flower. Double-click the sample image to open footage window and drag its title bar and place it on the left side of composition window. Now we can check the concept image anytime. Let's make a small composition of a petal. If you double click the shape tool, then you can automatically generate the shape with its comp size. Pick the color from the sample. Make another comp with the petal. And make it big enough. Change its anchor point. Place it in the center. When you check the sample image, you can see that the flower has 5 petals. So I'm going to rotate each one by 72 degrees. OK, place the flower. It would be nice to see entire flower at the same time. OK, open up the petal. Since they are all the same comp, when you change something, it will affect all the petals. Now, I'm making the petal shape and I'm going to use it as a mask. Keep checking entire flower to get the best shape. OK, and make the rectangular shape. You can change its filling style from solid to gradient. And then you can see two points. Those are start and end points of gradient. Place them like this. You can change its color setting here. Stops above the bar are about opacity and bottom are about color. And change mask's blending mode to stencil alpha. It's too yellow now, so I'm gonna adjust color a bit. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna add a red point in the center of flower. Make an ellipse and go to the effect menu. Open blur and sharpen category and choose Gaussian Blur. Change its value and put it under the mask layer. 
I'm gonna just gradient point to make subtle differences between petals. Like this, then you can see the borders a bit more clearly. Okay, and maybe I can add an extra detail, like shadow. Make a rectangular shape, and change its color and size, and put it on the right side. Change its blending mode to multiply. Make it weaker and adjust the color a bit. Yes, then you have nice but not strong detail. We're gonna rotate this flower. But if you just rotate from here, it'll look very flat. I'm gonna show you that. Open the rotation property by pressing R and click the clock icon in front to activate the auto key. Then it's recording changes on each value and being animated. It looks very flat, right? So I'm gonna make it look a little bit more three dimensional. Make the null object layer, name it pivot, and parenting the flower to this. Change its Y scale a bit. Then you can see it's rotating the same way, but looks like it's tilted. Place it in the right position. It's a bit small now, so make it bigger. Okay, this is what we want. You made a cute kitten on After Effects. I hope you're able to follow this nicely. If I missed anything or you need some further explanation, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll have to answer that. This is the end of second video. See you in the last one. Bye.